I'm very happy to be talking to Gabriela Hernandez Cardoso, who is Mexico's Under Secretary of Communications. First of all, Gabriela, could you just paint us a picture of the telecommunications landscape in Mexico? Okay, beforehand, thank you very much for the opportunity of this interview. It's uh, a, an excellent opportunity to talk about Mexico. Basically, in th three basic areas we are working in. And they've been discussed throughout the meeting of yesterday and today here in the World Telecommunication Policy Forum. Um, on the first hand, effective regulation. And effective regulation consists of basically two things. One is not having more regulation necessarily, but having good regulation and the correct regulation and having the enforcement of this regulation. On the second hand, we are what we call our big project on broadband penetration. And last but not least, obviously, connectivity or universal access or uh, social coverage, as, as we call it in Mexico. And basically here our goal is in our first phase to connect schools, hospitals, libraries, and governmental offices, and then also um, reach and aim for, for other objectives. Um, basically, it's, it's, we have seen an experience, an international experience, that markets are not enough to reach those rural areas or those areas where precisely it's not attractive for companies to be in. It, it, is the idea that uh, it's not financially viable for private companies to invest in, in rolling out infrastructure, telecoms infrastructure into rural areas, so the government is having to step in to pay for it? Well, I think it's a combination of aspects and it depends on the country. Uh, for Mexico specifically, um, I think there are still many areas that can be commercially exploited and we need to get carriers to go there and be there. Putting Spectrum um, up for, for auction is going to promote that and uh, probably in those Spectrum auctions we are going to put obligations of this coverage so that's going to be very interesting. Uh, but definitely there are areas or there are sectors where it's not um, attractive for companies to go in and that's where uh, we do uh, think the government has to have an active role and it could be a private and government investment not necessarily all governments so we are analyzing in Mexico what is the best formula so you have liked what you've heard here where people have been talking or demanding a Marshall Plan for ICT development is Mexico just the sort of country that would benefit from that definitely uh, I think that is a very good idea because this sector and it's also some of the ideas that have been out of, coming out of these meetings has to be is going to be the driver for this for this crisis uh, we it's a sector that has not been um, immune but it has not been affected as many other sectors have what are we going to take out of this crisis what is new what is different how do we see the world different after this and we are going to see it different after this and precisely this is the sector to bring the world to see the world different because it's the sector that has been driving the world through all the technology revolution and, 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 and everything that, that we do. It's a sector that goes throughout social, economic, political life throughout the, the countries, the communities. You're hosting the ITU plenipotentiary next year. What are you hoping to get from that? Uh, besides hosting such an important meeting and being so important for the ITU, for the country, it means the awareness, it means having goals. You know, for the ITU, we should have been solved so many issues to have good news. And to really, Mexico, also, I want it to be seen as a country where investment in telecommunications is not only possible, but a great idea.